Alright guys, no offense here. Right, in this video, I'm going to show you how I clean my boots. These are my boots. As you can see, they're quite muddy. I've already took off the bootlaces. I recommend doing this at least every, not every time you go out, but at least maybe once a week or maybe once a fortnight. That's what I would recommend. Personally, this is not telling you that how to do it, this is how I do it. Okay guys, right, I'm going to basically, um, so a few things first. I made a mistake in the last couple of weeks, and um, the last few months, as you noticed in my last, I think it was the boot, farewell boot laces, I said I've had these on my boots for about nine months. I usually change my boot laces every six months. Because to me, if I'm using them every day, they're gonna get worn. So yeah, right, shall we begin? Because at the end of the day, it's going up to one minute. So let's begin. Well, right, guys. As you can see, I've got a nice bit of water here. I like to have hot, soapy water and a cloth to clean my boots. I don't recommend people doing this to, I've got a leather boot, so I don't recommend if you do it if you've got five foot boots, personally, because they're completely different. They're gonna be a different material, different everything. So, I recommend if you read your instructions of your cleaning stuff before you start doing anything like that. But mine's leather, I've got these for I like leather boots, I prefer leather boots over material boots, so yeah. It is simple. What are you doing? All I'm doing is just getting rid of all the mud. That's it. That's all I'm doing. I even do my heels, my soles of my boots just to make just to check the just to check the grip. The bottoms, everything really, and then I just leave that to dry. Naturally, to dry, as you can see, it's on the draining board there. Yeah, to dry naturally, and then I'll bring you back of how I waterproof them and everything like that. So yeah, so. I'll get this one washed quickly and then I'll bring you back afterwards when they're dry. But when you are doing them, you've got to be careful because you don't want to get them too wet because you don't want your boots to you don't want boots to rot. That's the reason why I like to wring out my cloth. That's the reason why I haven't got my boots in the water. So yeah, right. There's both boots clean now. I'll bring you back. Oh, that's dark. <laughs> I'll bring you back. After um, they're dry, because at the end of the day, as I said, the, I like to leave them naturally to dry, because then I can see where all the dents and all the scrapes and everything like that is. Because if I dry them with a cloth, I don't see them. Okay, guys, I'll bring it back when that's done. Hey right, guys, right. Boots have been dry now. The soles are a bit dead, wet still, but the rest of the boots, they're, they're damp, but they're not leaking wet. Yeah, as you can see. There's a few um, scrapes and like that on them, so this thing I'm going to work on today. This will take a bit of time, I thought I'd let you know that, so I'm only going to do one boot in front of you, because if I do two boots, this video will take maybe at least half hour or more, so yeah. Um, so, shall we begin? Let's begin, shall we? Before we begin, that's the wax I'm using, I'm using dubbing wax. Molson Warehouse stuff. It's, it's good stuff. I like it. I highly recommend it. So let's begin. Oh yeah, and I use two cloths. So it's up to you what type of cloth you use. These are the cloths I like to use. 
and I find it doesn't matter how much of this stuff you use, more knowing I find sometimes, especially to start off with. So I've got a nice bit, bit of my cloth, and then all I do, I start here, and then I work that way, and then basically go from there, and I like to do it in circles. Don't know why it looks like it's cold, so it's going to take a little bit longer than what I expected. Because it's cold wax. Make sure you do all your creases, all your stitch lines, everything like that. That's what I always like to make sure I do. I like to make sure I've got enough on at all times. I know some of you, I know some people might say it looks a lot, but once you work, once you put it on, and then you work it in, it might not look like a lot afterwards. So yeah. The hardest bit I find is between these bits. So yeah. So that's that done. It's that bit done. Let's move on. I said I don't care how much I use. As I said, more the merrier to me personally. Because at the end of the day it's just it will sink in as you can see it's that's the boot what it looks like. That's the side I've got me done. That's the side what I'm done. I'm doing. So yeah, and remember to do the tongue of the boot because that's where 99% of the time it will split first. You have a little crux in that bit before anywhere else I find because that's where the hot spots going to be because that's where you do that's what you your shoelace sits against. I know some people might think I'm using far too much on this, this dubbing wax, but I'll show you what I do afterwards. As you all know, I'm going away. I going away on the tomorrow. I'm going away on the 31st. I'm going away tomorrow. So need to make sure my boots are waterproof. Right, that's the whole of that bit now. Covered in wax. The whole of that bit now is covered in wax. Now I will going to leave that for 10 minutes and then I will do the other bit. And I'll, while I'm waiting for that to be done, I'll do the other bit. So I'm going to pause you here and I'll bring you, I'll stop you for a minute and I'll bring you back after I've done the other bit. 
to show you the difference between this after, after I've done the other bit. Okay, guys. Hey right, guys, I've done both boots now. I'm going to show you the boots, as you can see. They've both been done, both been waxed up. Yeah, this is the one I started with, this one here, and this is the one I've just done. Yeah, I'm going to now show you how I get rid of, how I put the wax into the boots. So, let's bring it back a bit so you can see the boots again. I'm going to grab a different cloth, my second cloth, this one here. I'm going to put this one on the floor. I'm going to drink quickly. So I got that guys. But... As I said, this takes a bit of time. Now this one, I'm going to get, move that table that way. Because then I'll get my legs a bit closer to it. Now, this here is where you smooth the wax in, I find. And if you do circles, it works so much better. You just basically whack the wax in into the boots. So I'm going to leave it there because this is going to take at least, I reckon, 40 minutes just to do this boot. So I'll bring you back after I've done the boots. Right, guys, all done. As you can see, the wax has all gone in nicely. So, yeah, that's my boots cleaned. So, altogether, that probably took maybe an hour, hour and a half to do, to do two boots for me personally. I didn't want to film an hour and a half of me cleaning boots because at the end of the day I think you'd be bored of that video. So yeah, I'm not putting the boot laces on because I don't until the, until the wax is fully dry because it's still quite damp. So thank you for watching and we'll see you in the next one guys because in the next one will be my kit video. My kit of the YouTube, uh, of the 31st of December 2018 to the 1st of January 2019 trip. Okay guys, thank you for watching. We'll see you soon. Bye bye.